the red button? <laughs> I got one of these from behind the camera. We've like tried to film three or four times and I'm like, I'm all getting in the zone and I'm getting ready to, and I was like, acting, acting, I'm an actor. And like, no, for real though. Come here, I want you to come here for a sec. Let's get serious. <clears throat> it's evening time and don't look at the box. I don't know if this is commercially acceptable. So I may have made some questionable decisions on my body transformation project. You might remember me from such videos as Chubby Guy Destroys Treadmill. I have what some people might refer to as a little bit of a weight problem. Um, the problem is I can't pull up my socks. And so I've been on this new regime to like get fit, get fit, or get fat. So I want to be able one day to go, hey, did you get your tickets to the gun show? And I want it to be real. You know, I want to transform this into, do you know where the weight room is? No worries, I'll find it. I want that to be real one day, not just a joke. But today I fell down. Yes, yeah, get a close up. Ha ha ha. But, listen up. Come back to me for a minute. I got some pizzas here. And the thing is, I am actually wrapping these pizzas up. Now, some of you guys have been following the vlogging online. And uh, I've met some homeless people downtown. So what I've been doing is trying to make a difference to them by bringing them breakfast sandwiches, bringing them some lunch. So tomorrow I'm going to hang out with my homeless guys in the morning and I'm going to bring some some egg sandwiches and I'm going to bring some fruit for them and also I'm bringing them pizza and tomorrow I'll be interviewing a guy named Mike he uh, he was in the well he'll probably be sleeping out on the streets again tonight this guy actually you know had a good job back back home he was out working some sort of oil field or something and you know basically he had some things go wrong in his life and now he's living on the streets and you know for him a warm bed at night just just isn't happening these days even a warm meal in his belly so if all I can do is take some of this pizza pizza you know and it might be something that we laugh and joke about because my belly's really big but how can I justify living the way I do look at this I mean the money I spend on stuff like this when there's people who are hungry like that's convicting because normally I would eat this whole thing by myself and then I would drink pop and I would eat ice cream and everything so I have made improvements I'm, I'm juicing in the morning I'm trying to get more exercise and more sleep I need to drink more water so like on a scale of like 1 to 10 I'm probably a 5 right now so these pizzas will not be getting eaten up tonight as much as I really want to eat these pizzas, they're going to go to somebody who's hungrier than I am. And on top of that, I want to get back to keeping my word to you guys. I've already got a couple comments about, hey, how's the body transformation going? And the thing is, I hit some roadblocks because I got sad. You know, I've been trying to like make amends to people in my life. I've been trying to show people that you know, I'm not going back to the old person I was. And I don't expect people to like forgive me overnight. I did things that hurt people. You know, I pushed people away. And for a long time, I thought I could live life on my own. I'm tough enough, I'm strong enough, and, and uh, I'm not tough enough. I'm not strong enough. And so I'm just going to continue to live each day the best I can and continue to put myself out there, you know, not just on, on the Rua Breath is Life channel, but I want to put myself out there with family and friends and people that, you know, um, are wondering if this is for real. Because I am the king of failing. I can make a thousand promises and I can keep none of them. I can tell you ten things I want to do and do none of them. 
So procrastination and, and being a liar and being a hypocrite, I don't want that to be associated with Frederick. Freddie, I've done, I'm done, I'm done. I don't want to go back to that life. So that starts with eating better, meaning stuff like this, pizza, can go to my friends, the homeless guys, Dan and Mike. And right now, let's get back to what we're about, this body transformation. This morning, I did start off good. I, like I said, as soon as I like get a message or get negativity coming in my life, it's easy for me to, to get down. Because I had started this morning by peeling a kiwi, and I peeled a bunch of grapefruits. I peeled a bunch of apples, and I got strawberries. See these little strawberries? And even some peaches. Hee <laughs> hee. And now, somehow, I decided to jump in the day right after coffee, and I didn't even drink any juice. So here I'm gonna show you guys how to do that again. You get your mixer, which is no big deal. <laughs> Got my rag right here, eh? So we have the Bust Muster Minister Minister My Bust Muster Bust Muster is at 10,000. It's a very hefty duty tool. For those of you that do not have a license for the Hefty Bust Muster Buster 10,000, don't be using it without a license. And remember, folks, I am a trained professional. I mix these juices for a living. Now, you might think, look at this, look at this nice bowl of fruit. Can you see that at home? It's very beautiful. Pizza, not so good. Give that to people who don't get to have pizza every day. And you start to take in proper nutrients so you can be healthy enough to go out and make a difference in people's lives. So, you'll need a spoon. This is for scratching your belly when you get a little itch. Always have a spoon ready, and then you can scratch your butt. I'm kidding. <laughs> Come on. What you want to do is put the fruit in your mixing container. Now, we don't have anything extra added in here. It's straight fruit. We got blueberries. We got grape, peaches, strawberries, blackberries, grapefruit, apple, and I think we have a kiwi. Now, I'm going to show you what this wholesome goodness looks like when you just start to go to town. So, what kind of song can we sing when we do this? Good call. I'm sexy and I know it. Do, 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 do. I'm sexy and I know it. And I really want to show it. If you really want to do it, then you got to put the dust of buster to it. What 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 It's turning into juice, my friends. You might think it's all just bubble gum and lollipops and sunshine and rainbows, but when you put this much fruit in a cup, you cannot help but come alive. You can, I mean, I can almost hear myself getting stronger just because of all this Arnold Schwarzenegger goodness in a cup. Now, these fruits come to you directly from the Garden of Eden, which is the farmer market in your local town. And I didn't put any milk, any juice, any yogurt, nothing. The only thing we need is what? Can you guess? One guess. It's yellow and it has a happy face. You're right. It's a covetable almond tataga. You had one of those lately? Neither have I. So let's have a banana. Ready? Yes. See this here? Let me tell you something, pilgrim. This kitchen, it's not big enough for the both of us. So one of us has got to go. No, don't go. Stay, please. I enjoy having you here in my kitchen. All right, bananas, in case you didn't know, I've studied uh, the kingdom of monkeys. And when you look at the chimpanzee world, you will see they do not open bananas from the top, do they? You knew that? Good for you. Now, you pinch the back right here, see? And you peel it from here. That's how you do a banana. Now, once you got your banana, you put it in there because the banana is full of potassium, right? And what potassium does is it will help you generate muscular structure. Not so much in this area, but a little bit in this area. Because what you want to do is to be able to talk like this one day. You want to be able to have the muscles because that's how, uh, that's how you get everyone's respect. You have a six pack that's an eight pack 
and then you get arms and biceps that are the size of tree trunks and everybody gives you a little bit more attention and space down the grocery market. No man, I don't care how tough you are. Life, it'll take anybody down. But this stuff, it just makes you have more energy and feel better. So, let's see how that looks. And my friends, even though we didn't make it perfectly this morning, I'm back here. I'm going to finish making some banana bread uh, sandwiches for my friends. I'm going to get up early tomorrow and have coffee and my fruit juice. And I'm going to make them egg sandwiches. And I'm going to, I'm going to actually not go to food when I get sad next time. I'm going to go to this. So until next time, this is Rua, the breath of life. We are changing the world one video at a time one story at a time, one person at a time. And if you click on that square box down below, you will be able to, to help support what we're doing here at Ruah, breathing life into a broken world. And if you click the circle, which is probably up here, that circle is so you can become a subscribed member uh, on the YouTube channel. But you need a YouTube account to subscribe. And then somewhere probably here, you'll see a square video of some old videos or some playlists of things to come. So until next time, God love you. Take care. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.